We all lost trying to find a way. We all lost looking for brighter days. We didn't stand through the storms. Pain was too strong. Our ambition got washed away. We all lost trying to find a way. We all lost looking for brighter days. We didn't stand through the storms. Pain was too strong. Our ambition got washed away. Pigs in a bowl. This is Buddy, a biochemist at work. This is helping humanity. He is very unhappy with his job. I can't take this anymore. Something has to change. But what will Buddy change? Buddy thinks that the drugs he helps to create are destroying his community and the world. This is his supervisor. She is always spying on him. Taking your anger out on our company property, buddy? What are you going to learn to manage your anger, huh? You'll pay dearly for damaging our property and for assaulting dead lab animals, Mr. Buddy. Dead don't feel no pain. Those creatures by the dead is your sex life. I'll ignore those silly, ignorant remarks. Your thoughtless and childish rage is inappropriate and out of control. I've warned you about your appalling behavior. And I warned you about driving me like I'm your freaking pony. I'm just doing my job. Why don't you go do your job in the bathroom and, and clean up that mess? Shout up a few toilet bowls while you're there. See, it's your mean spirit and bad attitude, buddy, that gets you in trouble. You have a disease and it's contagious. You're contagious. You have a nasty anger virus. It must be contained and quarantined. Quarantine your mouth, sick witch. Oh, let's see what the big boss thinks about your disgusting attitude, shall we? Buddy's anger issues are causing him real problems at his job. Now he has to go see the big boss. Sit down, Mr. Buddy. That's okay, I'll stand. I insist. Please sit, Mr. Buddy. Good. Mr. Buddy Buddy, you've been working here at Big Pharma Designer Drug Boutique for over 40 years. Did some amazing things. Created some amazing drugs. I'm an amazing person. You are amazing, Mr. Buddy. Helped us make a lot of profits, and we're grateful for that. Well, time to show your gratitude in my paycheck. Times have changed. We've changed, but you refuse to change, Mr. Buddy. I refuse to turn into the jackass that you want me to be. I just want you to be a team player, a company man. That's all I want. And all I want is to be left alone. Look, I did 40 years in this company, gave everything I could to this company, and you still saying I'm not a company man. You became a major disruption. Acts of insubordination, angry outbursts. People want to know what's wrong with you. It's not good for our image. What stinking image? That wasn't smart. If you don't know what you're talking about, then shut the fuck up! Our brand's image. We create designer drugs that enhances their clients' quality of life while inspiring them to buy more and worry less. Oh yeah, they buy more, but damn if they're not paying for it. Our shareholders are demanding more profits. So you just rob people's pockets? We don't rob people, Mr. Buddy. We offer them relief in the forms of pills, liquids, and tablets. In the midst of their pain, we bring them joy. You bring them joy? Who are you, Anita Baker? You're out of touch, buddy. A lone scarecrow in the garden. Look, I might be a scarecrow in the garden, but at least I still have a brain. Not like some people I know. That was bullshit! Oh, boy. I see. I'm saddened. Looks like there's no getting through to you, Mr. Buddy. 
Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to put you out to pasture. But we're still gonna give you your pension and a golden nugget retirement plaque. Kind of like a parting gift. Golden nugget? Man, I wouldn't touch your nuggets with a 10-foot pole. If you ever need anything, buddy, please don't call me. That'll be all. He really shouldn't have done that. Hey, mommy. Que pasa? Shh. What the hell is going on? Same old stuff. Buddy had a fallout with the big boys. I think he got fired. Fired? That means I'm the senior bio engineer. I got his job, baby. I'm the big cheese. Yes, you're the big cheese, Poppy. Yes, you're the big fire. Well, listen. We're gonna get a big desk. We're gonna get our own office for me and you. We're gonna have a good, good time. Yes, we are. But listen, I'm gonna call my wife and then I'm gonna come back and get you later. Looks like Buddy will have plenty of time to watch his favorite TV show reruns. Oh, I have something that should help keep that anger of yours under control and prevent any extra injuries to your hands, Buddy. I hope so, America. <laughs> oh, by the way, how's your wife Anzie doing? Are the medical herbs I prescribed helping with her mood episodes? Yeah, she really seems to enjoy the natural herbal treatment, along with her other pharmaceuticals, of course. Well, most of my patients on tincture of cannabis seem to enjoy it immensely. Everybody keeps saying I'm angry. I don't think I have an anger problem in America. I think it's other people who got the fucking problem. Well, to other people, buddy, you are other people. But I'm just speaking my mind. Well, maybe your mind is speaking you. What is that supposed to mean? Repressed anger. Maybe the angry person inside of you is trying to speak out with its own voice. Well, I wish it would go ahead and speak with its own voice and stop using mine, because I'm tired of it. You know, well, what causes that anyway? Well, there are many possibilities that can create a problem. Mm -hmm. Being in a toxic environment, for one. Poison places, huh? Yes. Prolonged exposure to synthetic chemicals and pollutants in the work and home environment can cause unpredictable medical issues. What about toxic people? Can that cause it? Well, I, I got a few of them around me. It's possible. Mm. Stress, fear, and other irritants can cause these anger episodes to occur. Mm. Oh, that seems like everyday issues. But well, can it be treated? Well, yes. Well, one simple way is to, is to release this built-up anger. Mm -hmm. Try to direct it towards a more positive and satisfying activity, mm -hmm. along with the proper medical herbs, of oh, course. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah. Here's your prescription. This should help. Organic lemon balm. I want you to take two capsules three times daily. Mm -hmm. In the case of an emergency anger crisis, take one capsule immediately. Spin around in a circle five times and repeat the word kumbaya over 
and over. That should calm you down. Kumbaya. 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 Okay. I'll try. Oh, and buddy, next time you're angry, stay away from death. That's not funny, America. Why, buddy? Why? You're a renowned biochemist. All those years, it was amazing job benefit. Calm down, AMC. Then you wait two weeks to tell me? You told me you were on sabbatical. Fine, sabbatical. Well, what's the difference? Look, I wasn't thinking. I, I, was, I was trying to protect you, Nancy. Did you think about the great drug plan you had? You throw it all away because you were angry. I wasn't angry. Oh, okay, I was, I was a little bit angry, but, but it's not like we're going to starve. No, we're not going to starve because you're going back to work. No, I'm not going back there to work with them drug lords. How are we going to pay for the new teeth I need? You don't need teeth to eat tomato soup, Ansi. Plus, I got money in the bank and my pension. It's not just about your pension, buddy. What about me? Does your retirement package include a good drug plan? No, I didn't get a retirement package with a drug plan. You know, all I got was a, a fake stupid gold nugget plaque oh. that I threw away. Oh. You, 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 want me to, you want me to get you the attention of cannabis? Oh. Jeez. Oh. Over. He really seems to enjoy the natural herbal treatment, along with our other pharmaceuticals, of course. If only there, there was, was a potion, potion like this, this that could that heal, heal this crazy, crazy world. world. It healed this crazy world. It healed this crazy world. <laughs> That's the voice of Buddy's evil inner demon, Seth. What happened to your hand, honey? A desk attacked my hand. I hope the desk isn't hurt. That's not funny, Nancy. I'm sorry, honey. When are you gonna go back to work and tell your boss you made a big mistake? As soon as hell starts serving people ice cream. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Why? 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 Why me? Buddy sets out to create a potion that will cure his anger and heal this crazy world. Buddy rents a parking space in his building garage and sets up a makeshift lab. After six months of trying, no success.
Live long and prosper. Well, sit down and be quiet. That's highly illogical. Do I have to come back there and make you sit down? Beam me up, Scotty. Could you tell Scotty to beam me over to the kitchen and get me a double dog, please? Are the medical herbs I prescribed helping with her mood episodes? For Christ's sake, Captain, I'm a doctor, not a waitress. Well, could you boldly go where no woman has gone before and get me a double dog, please? Set phasers to stun. Oh, boy. Let me get your medication. Make it so. Well, most of my patients on tincture cannabis seem to enjoy it immensely. Open up the bay doors, Captain. Here comes the shuttlecraft. Take the bottle of cannabis, buddy. Take it. <laughs> we got it. We in business now, buddy boy. <laughs> Seth is turning Buddy into a thief. Now he is going to romance Buddy's wife. You have one choice, boy. Sex or the saw. It's party time. For Seth. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to jail creating those synthetic drugs. I hope he knows some good lawyers. Strong potion.
stupid is as stupid does. He just doesn't learn. I got the munchies. He's in deep doo-doo now. So Seth, what do you think of my new restaurant idea? I think you should rethink that stupid idea. Opening up a restaurant to serve the silly suits. I got a better idea. Let's open up a strip club. A gentleman joint. Bring some home. Hold some family entertainment. And new employment opportunities to the community. Seth, as long as I'm controlling this body, it's gonna be a restaurant that we open. A strip club is not my idea of family entertainment. That's your opinion, not mine. And buddy boy, your days of stopping me from being all I could be, it's over. Now Seth will take control. Oh <laughs> boy. Deep doo doo. I just want to make sure I'm not being watched. They're always watching. Can't uh, here you go. Be careful. It's hot. Uh, figured I might as well have some of this soup for my lunch. Here's a spoon for you. Mm -hmm. I made it just like you said, adding your special ingredient from that bottle you gave me. That's what's left. Mm. Mm. This is good. What's in the bottle anyway? Oh, just a little something I cooked up in my lab. It's organic. Oh, I added in some free range uh, herbs and spices, you know? Oh, to good. give it this unique earthy herb flavor. Earthy herbs, huh? Yeah, with the herbs. Mm. Oh, this soup is awesome, Harry. You are a fantastic gourmet chef. Thank you, you know, you really could do so much better than working in that shit old diner. Oh, I know. Well, it's not that bad. Besides, nobody else will hire me. Ever since that uh, hair and the souffle incident. Tainted souffle? Yeah. Well, that's a hairy thought. 
Was it your hair, Harry? No, not mine, at least. I don't think so. But uh, I'm getting blamed anyway. Betrayed by your hair. That's scary. Reminds me of the time when I woke up screaming in horror when I realized I was going bald. Bald? Now that's scary. Mm -hmm. I told him I was set up by Babyface. He was the jealous, clean-shaved assistant chef. He was always after my job. Damn evil bastards. That's gangster. Why you just didn't shave, Harry? What would my idol, Luciano Pavarotti, say? Well, he wouldn't say nothing, Harry. He's dead. What do you mean? <laughs> Never mind. You know, Harry, I would love for you to me and my chef when I open up my new restaurant. We, we're going to serve all kinds of soulful soups. Soulful soups? Yeah, soup for the soul. They sound good. With your culinary experience and my secret soup base, we can change the world, Harry. With soup? With soup. A restaurant, huh? Yeah. What are you going to call it? I don't know yet. When you eat my oh. soup, you're going to have a life-changing experience. Oh, this is good. Life-changing, huh? Yep. Mm, kind of like opera to me. Opera? Yeah, opera. It's been life-changing experience for me. Well, then I guess my soup is kind of like opera. It, you know, that's what I'm going to call it. The soup opera. The soup opera? Yeah. I like the sound of that. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to serve up my potion in exotic soup specials. I got the munchies. Yeah, me too. Hey, you got any devil dogs on you? Nah, not at the moment. Mm -hmm. Say, buddy. Mm -hmm. What's so special about these soups? I can't tell you that. In corporate secret. But I will say this. It's going to be huge. We're going to make our community sane again. With soup? With soup. Is this soup legal? Your soups ain't gonna be nothing but tasty poisons. I'ma see to that. And buddy boy, I don't know, you might not be in control of your body forever. Shit happens. Oh, oh. <laughs> Megan, that lazy, dope sniffing idiot is going to ruin your business. How many times have we been over this? Hold on, sweetheart, got the waiters here. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the soup opera. My name is Buddy, and I'll be your soup specialist today. What do you have that's um, very exotic, foreign flavored, but all American? Well, may I recommend our famous NSA soup special? Not only is it very tasty, but it's safe and secure too. Sounds good. I'll have that with a whole glass of iced tea. Oh, would you like to try a glass of our sweet freedom iced tea? Sounds good. I'll have one. Great. Okay, would that be with or without ice, sir? Doesn't iced tea come with ice? Oh, well, if that's how you want it, without sweet freedom iced tea, you make a choice. I generally like my iced tea with ice. With ice. Okay, gotcha. Coming right up. Say something. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, hot and delicious, kind of like me, like the both of us. Like all three of us. Can I get you ladies one of our Red Devil high energy drinks? Red Devil? Is that new on the menu, buddy? What kind of shot, baby? Is one of those something I sell on the side? On the side? Yeah, you know, under the table. You want to turn up? Red Devil will light your ass up. Red Devil, huh? Mm -hmm. Sounds like our kind of drink. Get us two. And I'm still hungry, so can you get me a Tepper Burger with fries? And Electra, do you want one? No, Chardonnay. I'm hot enough without adding any wasabi and hot peppers. That's too much Tepper for my tongue today. Well, Tepper Burger's supposed to be hot like that. But so they explode in your mouth. Nah, I'm good. But make that three glasses of your Red Devil. I may need a little boost tonight. Oh, this will boost you all right. I'll be right back. And the Red Devil is on the house this time. Compliments of Sarah. <laughs> Yo, do you think Seth is Buddy's middle name? I mean, he always acts really weird when he calls himself Seth. You beat that? I don't think it's weird. It's eccentric. He's a generous man. Seth is damn interesting. You would say that. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it's him. <laughs> you can't miss that hair. The Buzzard Report claims that he's suspected of selling corporate secrets. Of course it's true, stupid. It was on the internet. When in is a so special, one sweet freedom iced tea with ice. Enjoy. Can we drop this? Megan, your sister's not doing social work. She's a money grubbing whore. Don't go there. Just like I am. <laughs> oh, it's a damn phone. <sighs> Hellish and awful. Must be a disgruntled Democrat. Got some serious swag, Chardonnay. Really? I must have missed that. Uh, that bling bling thing you got going is a bit dated, honey. You're gonna blind somebody with all that sparkle. Then go blind then, cause all stars shine. Right now, my damn cell phone is dead. I got the power, honey. I can give you a charge if you ran out of juice, along with some serious fashion advice. Thanks, Versace, but no thanks. Uh, people call me Bean. I'm not people, Mary Poppins. Flattery will get you everywhere. 
I'm not trying to get nowhere though. Ruth, Ruth. Hey yo, listen up. DJ French Man Tanner here. And I got a bullet point for y'all. And I always keep a spare. <laughs> y'all act like I was pulling out a gap. Bitches. Watch me rock Frenchy short, short man. He ain't French, Electra. More like French fry. You always hating. He got potential. Hey, Frenchy. Rest your eyeballs on this. I'm so quiche. Nah, you're so quiche. They call me Electra. Do I look like I want to be shocked? Everybody wants to be shocked by Electra. Well, I'm not everybody. Electra. This is prom time, honey. More like street crime money. You know you want this juicy, sweet potato. I like my sweet potatoes fried. Ow, Electra, fry anything you want. Look, I'm a businessman making business moves. I ain't got no time for small talk. Ain't nothing small over here. You'll change your tune, Mr. Frenchman. They always do. Call me in case you want a drink of this. I ain't that thirsty. You got him dribbling without a basketball now, girl. I told you I was going to rock his shorts. He probably can't even get up without shifting that thing in his pants around. Looking for some lap action right now. <laughs> Is he looking over here? Yep, laughing you up like he's drinking you. Good. Watch his eyeballs pop out when I show him this. <laughs> Look, Shawnee, <laughs> this shot going to break the internet. <laughs> break it, Electra. Break the damn internet. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bitches.
My wife is getting suspicious, Princess. Ugh, this drama needs to end. End? It is not the beginning of the end. It is the end of the beginning. What are you talking about? It means if you play, you pay. And you did lots of playing. Remember, Poo Poo? Princess, listen to me. Oh, come on, give me a break, baby. Please. This is what you want. Look. What if my wife finds out about this? in here. Soup's getting cold. Contact site. Gotta go. Where? Where? Oh, be back with you, sir. Where is a small animal in my soup? What kind of animal, sir? Uh, a hamster? A hamster? I, I think you're mistaken, sir. We don't serve hamster soup. I'm telling you, there's a hamster in my soup. Uh, just, just relax, sir. I'm sure if you look again, you'll see that you made a mistake. Look, I made no mistake. There's a small furry hamster drinking my soup. Now would you please bring me another bowl of fucking soup? Oh, that, that's not a hamster, sir. It's a guinea pig. What? I said it's a guinea pig. We had one to all the NSA suit specials for national security reasons. National security? Oh, yes, sir. That's right. It's part of our safe eating strategies that we put in effect two months ago. Well, why do you need them? To protect our valued customers like you, sir, from the threat of being poisoned by terrorists. You heard of terrorist infestations, haven't you? Well, yes, infestations. Well, we are the case here at the soup opera. See, if the guinea pig lives out the taste of the soup, then we know the soup is safe to eat. Or if the guinea pig dies, then we know someone, probably terrorists, have poisoned your soup. Well, that's gotta be number one on the all-time stupid list. Well, we pride ourselves on being number one, sir. Really? Terrorist poison in people's soup is just stupid. Oh, I wouldn't call the terrorists stupid if I was you, sir. I'm not calling the terrorists stupid. So I'm talking about your national security guinea pig theory. It's ridiculous. It makes no sense. Plus, the greedy furry little bastard almost sucked up all my soup. And is poison soup a normal occurrence at this restaurant? Well, it depends on what you mean by common. Let me put it to you this way. Has anyone been poisoned here? Uh, no, no, not since we started adding guinea pigs to the soups. And how many guinea pigs have died from drinking this poisonous soup? All the guinea pigs that drank poisonous soup died, sir. I mean in general. Oh, in general? Yes. In the past two months? Since you started using them. Well, that would be two months ago. Just give me a damn number. Well, it is kind of hard to tell. See, guinea pigs don't really know how to swim, so some of them might have just playing drowned or died of natural causes. Just give me a damn number. Um, uh, Rue Roy and Paul and Isabel, about uh, 25, give or take 20 and 25. It's a ballpark figure. Do customers ever return to this restaurant? Sir, 
We are in the major thoroughfare here in the Bronx, and we are a known tourist location. And the soup opera is famous for its exotic soup special. The exotic, all right. It's no secret that we are highly recommended by the NSA, the NRA, and the NBA. The NBA? Yes. We're amazing happy. Just like here at the soup opera. This place is dangerous. Dangerous? We sponsored by Homeland Security, sir. I don't believe you. We got you believe what you want. But we get a constant flow of patrons here every day. So it really doesn't bother you that you won't get any repeat business from any sane human being? Don't bother me, sir, a bit. Look, we are government approved. We can't help it if some people are not concerned about terrorists poisoning their soup. Terrorists are not poisoning people's soup. You're just making this stuff up. You're a serial liar. You think so? Yes. If I'm making this up, then Santa Claus is a fairy tale. Santa Claus is real, but you're making this shit up. Sir, most restaurants don't taste test the food like we do here at the Soup Papa with certified organic, sterilized, free-range lab animals. If I didn't have important rendezvous, I would take my business elsewhere. We don't need your business, sir. We get subsidized. Oh, really? Really. We do a public service here. Do you have any idea how many people are killed by food poisoning in restaurants each year? No. You see this FBI report? Thousands of people are killed by food poisoning each year, but the name The Soup Opera does not appear on this list. Nowhere, sir. Nowhere. That's probably an oversight. We are FDA approved. We have not had one customer die of food poisoning in the past two months. That's an accomplishment? We're proud of our unique customer service approach. Who in their right minds can eat a bowl of soup they just picked a hamster out of, sterilized or not? Any pig. I don't care if it's a muskrat. And look, you just been sucking up the last of my soup. Then obviously it wasn't poisoned by terrorists. See, now you could have saved eating that bowl of soup yourself. You're crazy. Anyway, it's gone now. Well, you could have licked the kitty bill. Don't be disgusting. Hey, it was just an idea, sir. Look, I'll get you another bowl, sir, and we'll skip the kitty bill. All right? Hmm? Well, maybe we just dip his head in a little bit and let him get a little sip of it. No, certainly not. It's just a little sip. No. Bring me a new ball soup. Don't let any furry creatures within a foot of it. Understand? All right, all right, fine, fine, fine. It's your life. You should be honored. You're the chosen one. <laughs> yeah, but chosen for what? Well, you're kind of cute for a hamster. That's sure what's going on with the cut feet. You're very patriotic, baby. Where? Come in, come in. Where? I'm coming, I'm coming. The hamster just died. I just need some time to digest all this, Princess. Time is for criminals, poo poo. I'm killing a fellow too. Maybe he had a heart condition. Like hell, Stan Terrace doesn't follow me in here trying to poison me. Terrorist stuff. The all around us. Uh, are you all right? Absolutely. But you and I have the devil dog going to prison. You seem different. Different? 
This is so good. This is like pure pleasure. Oh. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> and off that note. careful these days. I agree. So you're right. <laughs> yeah. Here's your fresh bowl of guinea pig free soup. Ooh. And it's enjoy. Mmm, good. Mmm, good. The soup, Papa soup, is mmm, good. Delicious. Good. No. I'm sure Taras is trying to kill me. Bring me a fresh guinea pig right away. Do you want a guinea pig in the soup? Damn, mama. Smart choice, sir. We can get you a fresh bowl of NSA soup special. This time, with the food taste. My mind, I can't see the forest for the trees. I'm trying to be free, and my phone not working. No Google Maps for me, and I never learned to use a compass. So I'm wondering and wondering how far I could be from reality to fantasy. It's dripping on me. Gotta pull myself together. I keep falling apart. I'm from a city where nobody has a soul or a heart. You get in where you fit in, and you play your part. I trust no one, just the man in the mirror. But now he's starting to look unfamiliar. I walk home at night. Looking over my shoulder and now my shadow got me jumping I used to be much bolder But as I get older, it only gets colder All my ambition, starting to fade All of my passion, washing away I make a deal with the devil to get it back again Can somebody help me? Can somebody please? If you got the potion, could you give it to me? If you got the potion, could you give it to me? We all please. lost trying to find a way We all lost looking for brighter days we didn't stand through the storms. The pain was too strong. Our ambition got washed away. Buddy, this is fair. How can you do this to us? Just shut the soup opera down for minor violations. Whoever's responsible for this will feel the pain we feel. Ooh, ow. Oh. You okay, buddy? Oh, yeah, I think my tennis elbow is acting up. You know you play tennis. Well, I don't, but I. Uh, Played so much tennis on my Xbox, I think I got tennis elbows now. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. 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 Oh. Sorry, pastors. They will feel the pain that we feel. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. You okay? Ooh. Yeah, I think my whole war injury is acting up again. What war? I didn't know you fought in a war. Uh, well, I, I did, but. I was watching CNN Wolf Blitzer do an operation in Desert Storm. I fell asleep on the couch, tumbled to the floor, and broke my leg. 
I just got a couple hours of CNN for that. Mm. Wow. What a war story. I didn't know. Yeah, shit happens. Ooh. Ooh. Her closing act by the health department is pure racism. I don't think so much force. People got sick from food poisoning. Some folks mysteriously died as a result. I mean, I don't know what happened. You took adequate precautions. The guinea pig in a bowl strategy was brilliant. Yeah, it was brilliant, but not brilliant enough. The guinea pigs were valued in their effort. Saved many lives, prevented many costly hospital visits. Sure did. But some folks just refused to embrace the concept of using guinea pigs as sick tasters. You know, in, the, in this ongoing fight against the uh, restaurant soup terrorism, it's real simple. Simple to all but those who pay the ultimate price. Well, luckily, some people only came down with a bad case of public diarrhea. I take diarrhea any day. Death is too permanent for my taste. You know, I got a vague idea how poison got some of the bowls of soup, but I can't prove it. There's no witnesses. Only bad dreams. At least you can drink, buddy. Unlike the dead victims. True. Well, at least we're not persons of interest, at least not now. I know I'm not a person of interest. Anyway, I know who did it. Who mm do? -hmm. Common sense says it was evil demons. Evil demons? Give me a break. Why do you say that, Miss Fortune? Buddy, I know what I know, I know you know. Those pesky demons destroying your business, destroying our community. If that's true, then there's nothing we can do about it. You take a stand mm -hmm. and fight the power. Say the 60s, Miss Fortune. It seems to me that there's no place for us here. If not here, then where? Well, uh, buddy, the neighborhood is changing. Mm. And in that change, we are not included. I, I, I think you got to leave up to the future to determine that. But I do know that I'm too old and too tired to be running. My aching feet are tired of running, too. This is my home. I was here during the good times and during the bad times. And I want to be around when the good times come back again. Me too. Power to the people. We stay. Hey, Miss a fortune. What you raising your fist about this time? Because we stay. Well, then we stay. Buddy, what's up? Just came from the soup opera and it was closed. What happened? Ran out of soup? Hell no. This is ridiculous. Hey, yo, boom, check this out. They're sliding us out while they're slipping in. Gentrifying our neighborhood, redirecting our dreams. Time is ticking. It's taking us all. Well, I still got some time left in this body before I'm erased. So it's time to make the donuts or become a donut hole. It's just nothing. Whatever you decide, buddy, I got your back. You know the way I move, buddy. Wherever the people go, misfortune will fly. You rhyming now, misfortune? You got poet potential. Yeah, but only if you can short poet. I may not grow much bigger, but I can still keep my finger on the trigger. Ow. Go ahead, Miss Fortune. Hey, speaking of going, I gotta go. I'll, I'll, I'll see y'all later. Power to the people.